to another video. Today is Tuesday, July 30th. It is a day we load the big number on squats. 700 plus is getting loaded today. I uh, feel really anxious, but confident and calm at the same time um, because it should be there. So based on our training, based on what we've done so far, based on the preparation, it should be there. That's the thing about doing anything. If you prepare for it, then you go there, you do what you have to do, and the results will speak for themselves. I'm not gonna lie, I feel, I feel anxious, I really do. But every time I feel this way, it, it's always kind of a, a good thing because I have adrenaline pumping. Uh, I usually am prepared and we do the proper things in the previous blocks in the previous weeks to be able to do the, the numbers set by my coach. So I'm not worried in that sense. Um, I feel very prepared. But that anxiety and that adrenaline is, uh, is definitely here today. So I'm gonna put my headphones on, we're gonna warm them up, and then we're gonna get right into it. I'm not squatting with anybody else, so it's uh, really just my own time, my own speed. And I'm gonna talk to you guys after the top set is squatted. I'm very, very happy, but this is a testament to how amazing Sean is, how amazing Joe is, how amazing Dion is, Angelo, everybody that I train with. If I wasn't in Houston with these people, I would not have squatted 700 today. I absolutely love these guys. Awesome, love you too, bro. Good Thank shit, you, bro. good shit, I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. Thank you. And thank you very much, man. Oh, I feel good, guys. That was amazing. And uh, yeah, just another step forward. Preparation was there, executed. On to the next one. That's it. On the next one, baby. Mike? 
All right, so for the working sets today, we have 227 and a half, um, four by five. I don't remember if I've ever done this. It might be just slightly more than I've ever done for a four by five, but we've got 500 pounds for a four by five. Working set PR, so this is pretty good, and I think it's gonna move really well, so. That was the first set, got three more. Five by five, 500 pounds at our B5. There we go, that's, that's pretty strong. But that's the end of squats. I'm really happy with that. Um, I think next time I'm gonna get under 700 to 705, plus whatever, I think my body's gonna feel so much better with it. The first time I did was, the first time I did 620, sorry, 678, the all-time PR, it was so wobbly and kind of shaky, and you'll see like my knees and hips move a little bit. And then today, my last one with my 305 was just like butter. So before I know it, six reds will be absolutely perfect. And uh, that's really exciting. So we're gonna do a, a little close grip bench. I'm not sure what we're gonna load, just because I'm dealing with tendonitis. So I'm not able to push my bench as much right now. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys what I load for the top set. And uh, that'll conclude the squats and close grip. All right, so top set is gonna be 319, which is 145 kilos for three reps. It's supposed to be a move at RP8, so I'm gonna just really well. And I think that last block, or last time I did like a really heavy close grip, I think it might have been 330 for a double. I could be wrong though, but uh, yeah, I mean, I felt, felt really good warming up, so I'm gonna do this, make it move well, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be good on it. Every single block, I might get, I get more and more convinced that I might be a close grip bencher. But uh, <laughs> yeah, appreciate you guys for watching this video so far. I'll catch you guys during deadlifts. I am in the process of moving from Houston. I don't know if I've made it clear in other videos. I kind of just hinted it, but basically, I'm moving out. This is my last couple of days in Houston. This is my bedroom, completely cleared out. Still got to clear out my closet. The truck is halfway packed and I have a lot more stuff to pack. I'm not even getting a U-Haul. I'm just trying to jam everything in the truck and it's gonna be a challenge. It's like 10 p.m. on Wednesday. Tomorrow, I deadlift and then I drive out. I'm gonna stop in North Carolina for a little bit of time, spend time with my girlfriend and friends. So that's gonna break up the trip a little bit, but oh man, this is gonna be an insane trip. Good morning, so. Alright, first things first, <clears throat> sleeping on an air mattress is horrific, it's not fun. And what makes it even worse is that it's not a regular air mattress, it's one of those air mattresses that goes in the back of your truck, like when you're camping or if you go to like a drive-in movie theater, and I have one for my truck, so I sold my bed yesterday, which means I was like, either I have to crash at my friend's house or I have to sleep on this air mattress. And I decided to sleep on the air mattress because I had so much packing to do, so I was packing till like midnight. <laughs> But we got through it, did not sleep very well, but we did sleep, so that's good. I woke up and I pounded eight eggs, eight scrambled eggs, um, a couple fruit snacks. I don't have much carb options right now, um, so I couldn't really get too much carbs in me before this lift, but I do feel like I'm gonna be fine. But we'll see, maybe I'm gonna be wrong. Uh, and uh, yeah, 
Got to get back and finish packing the rest of the stuff so I can leave after, but I'll see you guys at the gym and uh, let's pull something heavy. All right, so we made it to the gym um, and we got to pull. I feel pretty excited for this one. Uh, this will be my heaviest pull. Uh, we'll know after the last warm up. I'm thinking of taking about 310 to 315 kilos as the last pull. And that's gonna determine if we have, you know, 340 or 345 here today. If we don't, that's okay. I think that even 335 would be the most I've ever pulled. Uh, but regardless, we're gonna do something that we can comfortably pull. Uh, like I said earlier, sleeping on an air mattress the night before is not fun. Um, <laughs> so hopefully my body doesn't feel like crap. But we're gonna warm up and we're gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna say much and I'm gonna catch you guys after the PR is attempted. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god, dude. I can load 771 right Yo, now. You have 350 right now. I can load 350 right now. <laughs> Woo! Dude, that was so easy. Yeah. Can what? Dude. Should I? Whoa. <laughs> Should I? I think it's right there, bro. Dude, that shit dude, was so easy. Yeah, oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna load 350, bro. Dude, that shit popped off the ground like no problem. Yeah, I almost rushed it, bro. Like, I almost... <laughs> oh my about. goodness, dude. Dude, Sean that was chill. maybe you should load it. That was chill. Yeah, I dude. think I should load 350, bro. I'm loading it. Oh my god. <laughs> I have to, bro. Dude, that was actually crazy. I know. I'm, dude, this, this should have been what I told him May, bro. <laughs> Dude, I did not expect it. To, no, like, I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect it to move that quick. I me mean, neither, bro. <laughs> 355, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm gonna make this move nice, bro. Trust me. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so damn long, bro. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's put the headphones on and lock the hell in, bro. They lock in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Holy let's go! Shit. Come on! Holy Come on! Shit. Let's go! Holy oh my shit. god! Come on! Dude, that was insane. That was how I expected your 340. That's why I thought that the 340 would move like. Insane. Oh, that's chill, bro. Wait, let's watch it back. Let's watch it back. Oh my god, that was chill, bro. Dude, that was, that chill. was so chill. Yo, should I post dude. the 340 on Instagram and then like yeah, two days yeah, later? Yeah, post yeah. the 340. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh like, my god. Literally gonna, trick trick the audience. I'm gonna send it to Nori and then like an hour later be like, by the way, I did it something I, I heavier. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that was insane. Guys, I'm telling you, 
by the end of the year, we are gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pull 365. We're pulling 365. It's 15 kilos. It's just 15 kilos, dude. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just 15 more. And it's crazy, cause like, with a lot of other people, it's like, this is not gonna make that much progress. But like, Joe believes in me. Especially if, if you Joe believes in me, dude. If you compare what you did now, compared like literally. But even you see my tech there, right? Like you see my I tech. Know. It's just like. Yeah. I'm ready to lock out anything. That's what I'm saying. There was no like, like thrown forward. Yeah, it was, it just, was like, you just, like literally just keep moving. Just keep I'm moving. Telling you guys, wait, I want to see when I got a bench actually hit 850 because this rotate 850, I didn't think it was going to happen this block, but there's a chance right now. So, 317 and a half plus 350. So, I would need to do, let's say, 175 would be all oh, 342. Oh. I need to do 180. 182. 180. Yeah, it's not gonna happen this block, but I know for a fact that it should happen either the next block or the block after. But that being said, these numbers, <laughs> these are really good numbers. Like, I think once we cross that 850 barrier, the road to 900 is gonna be phenomenal. It's gonna be great. Wow, I'm on cloud freaking 25. <laughs> <laughs> Out. <laughs> I was gonna say, how'd that feel? It didn't feel easy. It felt harder than the freaking 340. Like, bro, like it, that first rep felt harder than the 340. It probably looked worse too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my hands are just all freaking slimy, bro. So cooked. Wait, was the Okay, so that completes that lips today. Uh, being happy about that session is an understatement. Uh, that was my best deadlift session in Houston. And it happens to be the last day I'm here, so that was amazing. Uh, um, I'm gonna do some accessories pretty quickly because I have to get out of here, so I'm gonna lock in and get all those done. And uh, I will catch you guys for secondary squat and deadlift and bench. But until then, we got a lot of driving to do. It is almost 6 p.m. The packing took an extra three and a half hours longer than I thought it would. I was hoping to get out of here by like 3.30, but we are finally headed out. You guys, I cannot express how crazy this packing process was. Like a gazillion trips from floor seven to the basement, floor seven to the basement, and I'm packing my car so freaking tight. I'm literally in a rush to hand over the keys to the office before they close, because they close in like 12 minutes. So I'm gonna hand over the keys, and then I'll show you guys how crazy the car is packed as soon as I can. But yeah, goodbye, Herman Park. Apartment 738, Herman Park Lofts. Um, it was great while I was here. I will catch you guys later. I need to get out of here. Uh, we are three hours out from uh, our destination in North Carolina. I have um, made the final rest up, hopefully. Um, as you can see, when I'm telling you this truck is fully packed, it is fully packed. The bed is packed to the brim. I was playing Tetris, and I mean that. Like every single little hole was filled up with a pillow, a blanket, a bag, a, you name it. But yesterday we um, we drove. We left at like 6 p.m. We drove up until like 3 a.m. And then I was like, all right, it's getting. You know, it's it's been quite some time. I had I think nine and a half hours left from the seven original 17 hour drive. Um, and that doesn't include stops, so you can see how time keeps getting added up. Had nine and a half hours left at, at 3 a.m. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit. And I pulled over at a rest stop and could not fall asleep. 
So after 30 minutes of trying to fall asleep, I was like, all right, whatever. I'm going to get back on the road and just drive until I actually feel like I need to pull over to a rest stop and, and catch them, catch them sleep. Um, so I drove two more hours. So I had seven and a half hours. It was 5.15 a.m. when I pull over uh, to a rest stop. And I wanted to make sure that I do it before it gets light out because then I don't want my brain to be all messed up. Um, but yeah, we pull over at 5.15 and I sleep until about 8.20. So it was very rough kind of just, you know, moving around, turn the car on and off because it was really hot. So I put the AC on, the car would turn off after like, I don't know, 15 minutes or something. But got back on the road and the first three hours kind of sucked. Um, even though I was good to drive, just felt a little ugh. And then I uh, was on a phone call with my sister for about an hour. So she kind of helped me wake up. Um, <laughs> I literally had a Wendy's sandwich, uh, a Wendy, Wendy's wrap with a large um, like potato fry. They had this thing for breakfast and not the healthiest option, but it was, it was really convenient to just stop there. My other options were like McDonald's, Popeye's or friggin' Dunkin'. So I was like, whatever, I needed calories. The potatoes are good for the carbs. And then I stopped again uh, to grab a couple bananas. I had three bananas and I had a protein shake and I've been having a lot of Gatorades throughout the day. They have this one out here, the Twitch one or whatever fast twitch so this is nice because it has 200 milligrams of caffeine plus electrolytes and then I think when I get to Raleigh I'm gonna take one of the tri orals and um, and just you know mix it with water and, and sip on that for for six hours then tomorrow I'll drink one as well just to rehydrate and eat as much as I can tonight when I get there eat as much as I can tomorrow so then I can heal my body Unfortunately, it is not Sunday when I'm doing this bench session, but it's Monday morning at 7 a.m. I woke up mad early, and in fact, I went to bed pretty late last night, so the conditions aren't ideal. This weekend, I could not eat nearly as good as I should have, um, so there's variables I couldn't control. The, the traveling last week, um, this weekend was crazy, but I'm at a point in my life where at this moment, I could afford it not being perfect it's not like I'm on prep it's not like I have to compete in two blocks from now so as much as this sucked it's okay Okay, so what is the block total? We have 350 deadlift plus 317 and a half squat plus 165 bench, 132 and a half. And if I add my best top set singles, which would be 185, 175 plus 350 plus 317.5. I'm at 242 and a half. So even with my best bench single of all time, I'd still be seven and a half kilos short. Um, but I am technically 17 kilos short from the 850 total that I wanted to do, like, you know, complete in a week. Um, definitely disappointing. But guys, I mean, the variables, including sleep, eating, recovery, not traveling, not driving, 25 hours <laughs> I went to like I literally had four hours of sleep last night right because of the traveling right now I'm not home all these all these things they matter and unfortunately we're playing a sport here that all those things have to be perfect 
to have a perfect outcome. Very rarely can you have these really poor uh, variables and expect a good outcome. It just does not happen. And uh, that being said, the road to A50 continues. I think we're a block or two away from being there, especially, especially if I uh, deadlift, you know, 360 to 365, which is going to happen. Um, let's say I squat 325 and I bench even matching my all time best at 175. We're at 865. So I think we can blow past the 850 number, 850 mark. Um, and another thing that I was, I was telling uh, uh, one of the guys that I met in there um, is that, you know, it's hard to have a perfect block. It's hard to have perfect progress. And there's always things that are good that happen and things that are bad, right? I had a very good squat and deadlift this block and the bench has been, you know, kind of trash and there was good things that happened. So that's good. We're heading in the right direction. Um, and ultimately, my body weight right now is probably lower than it was last week, right? So I can't expect the bench to go up if my body weight is going down. Like my body, first lift that goes when I lose weight is bench. That's just how my body works. Um, that's the reality of the situation. So I'm going to close it off there. If you guys are interested in coaching, fill out the application down below. If you guys want to support me, um, use code Ven at Gymshark or my protein, and that goes a long way. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, tune in because we're going to blow past 850 and we're going to get to 900, and it's going to be great. So, until next time, see you guys.